best way to show people not to do something is show them that there's an alternative and we can live and breathe and do that alternative in our day to day lives. Basically, you've got this fry tall container here, and when you start it up on diesel, the fry tall container heats up, and the exhaust pipe comes out through here, up this peculiar, still hot, bit of exhaust pipe, and into here. In there, goes around there, heats up the oil, mm -hmm. comes back out there, out through the muffler, and out through the sunflower. <laughs> So that heats the oil up, and then you've got, uh, and you've got this wonderful little bit of fuel line here, which goes all the way from there. When it attaches on, straight through here, and through this filter, and into the motor. You've got yourself a veggie powered Jenny. Anyone doesn't know, this is a van that runs on veggie oil, and last year we did about. 20,000 kilometers running on veggie oil and it was all for, for free and we just pick it up at the back of fish and chip shops it's used old oil that they're throwing away and so they're usually really happy when we come around and say yep we'll take your old oil and run our car on it. I guess we were driving around with a solar powered sound system and a wind powered cinema and it seemed a bit hypocritical to be sticking diesel in the engine just to cut all this environmentally friendly stuff around so we did um, what we could with what we had and I guess we were inspired by the um, Dogenville Revolutionary Army. If they could do it with coconut oil and, and no other supplies whatsoever then we could definitely do it in a desert. It doesn't matter if it's a generator or a tractor or a car, it will definitely run on it. The main thing about it is you've got to heat it up. The oil is pretty thick and gluggy and... We have our roadside stop visual service station. But you're going to be cold in the desert last night, so we're heating him up, getting him nice and hot, ready for cooking, ready for the tank. What have we got here? got my filter, my veggie oil filter, which I'm just about to clean. So I've taken all the bolts off, Oop, there's a bit of veggie oil, I pull the top off, you can see all the gunk in there, see all this? All old bits of chip and fish and donut and... Sausage and Ooh. Chico roll and whatever. That's it's it, filthy see? Filthy filter. One filthy filter, so it's a good filter, so that stops all that shit getting into my motor. See, there's the other side. Mm -hmm. It's nice and clean, and that's the stuff that just stops it from going in. So I'm going to clean that off with a bit of, bit of metho or caro, whatever I've got, even a bit of diesel, and uh, put it back in. And I'm laughing. I'm doing uh, for one 20 litre drum standard sort of drum of veggie oil, I'm doing about 130 kilometers. So would you say it's better than diesel? Yeah, at the moment it is actually better. I, at the moment on diesel I do about 120 kilometers on 20 litres, even 110. So yeah, it's, it's good, it's much better. The, um, the things that you have to do if you want to run your car on, on vegetable oil is you have to build a heated fuel tank and, um, and then you have to have a heated fuel line goes all the way to the motor and then you have to have a, a rewashable mesh filter and um, and then basically a couple of taps or a couple of solenoid valves to turn it on and off and a, a good sized fuel pump uh, usually a good strong diesel fuel pump and once you've got all that in line um, essentially you can run your car on vegetable oil without a trouble and it'll just run exactly the same as a diesel motor will so um, the trick that we we usually do is we actually start our car up on uh, on diesel because um, our, our system of heating up our, our oil relies on hot water from the radiator. So um, we start off on diesel, that heats up the oil in the radiator, that uh, heats up the water in the radiator, which then sorry, heats up these two pipes that come down and link into our vegetable oil tank right here. And we've got two big, a big copper coil that goes in there, and the water goes through that, heats up, heats up the oil, and the water returns back to the radiator. And then the rest of that hot water also then goes out and around a jacketed fuel line which goes all the way up to the to the fuel filter and then into the motor. So essentially we turn it on, rev, rev it up for about five or ten minutes, that heats up the water which heats up the oil and then bang we can just change over straight over to the vegetable oil. And at the end of the day uh, you've sort of got to do the same thing but just in reverse we just uh, basically run it on diesel for um, anywhere between about 
two in five minutes, and that's enough to flat, um, flush the motor out. Uh, but you, um, as far as I'm aware, can have up to 80% less emissions, poisonous emissions, into the environment, and uh, it, it smells good. It smells so good you can even put your nose up the exhaust pipe, and it won't make you sick, it will just make you hungry. <laughs> Reggie Bauer! Woo! So music is a metaphor about the things we're for.